Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra here back with another video in C-Sharp tutorial series and in this video we are going to discuss about indexers in C-Sharp. So if you find this video helpful then please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed this channel then please hit that subscribe button also. So let's get started without any delay. So first of all what indexer is. So indexer allows us our C-Sharp objects to behave like an array. So let's see what it means. First of all, let's search here indexers in C sharp and we are going to open this document of Microsoft and what it is saying, it is also saying indexer, indexers allows instances of class or struct to be indexed just like an array. It means your objects are going to behave like array. So it is how we create an indexer. So we are going to create our own indexer. So let's move to the code editor. So let's create our own collection here. First of all, we have to create a class, public class. And it will be person collection, something like that. It will be an integer type. Okay, so let's not create this. Let's give it some meaningful name like fruit. So and right now let's create a private array here so here we will write public sorry private string fruit names public string names of fruit okay and its size should be new a string 10 so we cannot add more than 10 elements to it and you can add any number of elements you can also define here 100 it doesn't matter but we are only entering 10 elements right now so that's the case here and right now we have to define here public string this int sorry public this and here we will define int i public string this int i and here we are gonna define some get and set methods returns name i and set names i equals to value so that is how our indexer has created or gets created whatever it is so now I'm gonna define here public static void main and let me check if it is our default project or not yeah it is our default project part 28 that's fine So if I write here fruit, 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 fruit equals to new fruit. So that's it. Now I can add values to it like this fruit zero equals to apple and fruit one equals to banana. orange mango and one more and let's name it let's name it kiwi or yeah it is fine for each where item in fruit actually we cannot do it for accessing these elements we have to use our regular for loop i equals to 0 i is less than 5 i plus plus and console 
dot right line fruit sorry it should be i that's it let's run this program okay that's not the desired output because here i have to write this let's see what is output now and apple banana orange mango kiwi so that is the output of this program and it is our indexer so what basically indexer is indexer allows you to convert your plain object into a collection and kind of collection it means you can use it like an array and here fruit is our object and it is used like an array because it have now multiple locations or indexes where we are adding our fruits so that was indexers in c sharp and that's it for now we will catch up in next video